Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so your discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shit in general this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. <laughs> Welcome my little babies. Okay so I, I, I literally every time <laughs> this is the completed look and it was a journey. It was a journey. So in today's video, it's much more of like a get ready with me, but I do talk about my thoughts on some of these products. But in today's video, I wanted to share with you like what happened during the hurricane because a lot of people ask like what's going on and I wanted to let you know like everything that happened while doing my makeup and kind of sharing a little bit more of an insight into my life. But in today's video if you're interested in knowing what products I used, I used the new Urban Decay palette, I used the new Patrick Ta palette, I used the Say Bronzer, I used the new Ritual Defeat Thorn Milk Hydrating Skin Mask, some of these gorgeous lipsticks as well as update you on some other products that I have used or I have shown in previous videos to kind of let you know how I feel about stuff. But in any case before I get all Andy Rooney and show you how I created this beautiful little masterpiece a word from today's sponsor. Thank you to Upside for sponsoring today's video and my general garbage-ness. I appreciate it. I know I've been talking about Upside for a bit and I love that I get to continue to work with them because it's an app designed for anyone who buys gas, groceries, or dines out. Pretty much everybody, okay? <laughs> and with every purchase you'll earn cash back thanks to Upside. And you can earn three times more cash back than any other credit card rewards or loyalty programs. And just so you know, Upside users are earning more than a million dollars every week. I wish the million would just go to me. <laughs> But now it's spread amongst all of us Upside users. And honestly, that's probably why they have a 4.8 rating in the App Store. But the best part of Upside is that you can cash out anytime you want. So whether I wanted to go directly to my bank account, my PayPal account, or an e-gift card, I can get whatever I want, whenever I want. And I love that for me. I say it all the time, but if I can get my sweet mom, my sweet mother, okay? The woman who doesn't know left from right, and I'm not even saying that to be funny, she really doesn't know left to right. <laughs> Love you, mom. If she can get on board to start saving money, so can you. But for those who want a tutorial, I'm more than happy to walk you through it. First, you're gonna download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Then I'm gonna need you to use my promo code DEAD. This will get you $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Then you're gonna claim an offer on whatever you're buying on Upside. As always, I'm a quarter of a tank kind of girl, when I should be more of a quarter of a mile kind of girl. So I, I've been watching a lot of Fast and the Furious lately. I don't really know what that means, but I love saying it. <laughs> I love trash. Anyway, mama needs gas. So I open up the app and I see the best deal around me. Once you pick the best offer for you, all you have to do now is check in at the business, pay as usual with a credit or debit card and get paid. See, it's incredibly easy. I'm grateful for this app because now more than ever, every penny counts, especially with the holidays approaching. So if you're interested, download the free Upside app and make sure you use the promo code DEAD and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. So again, thank you so much to Upside for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen. We love and appreciate you. And also save some money, okay? Please. Let's go look at past me, old me, future me, old me. Oh, past me. It's past me. Past me. Ooh. Hello, my little lambs. How are you? I'm doing okay. I can't wait to slap some makeup on my face because I look like uh, beef carpaccio. <laughs> And we don't like that. So um, we have a lot of new products, but I think I want to do my base first. I keep distracting myself in the monitor because I'm like, your skin's red and we need to fix that. So um, I'm going to just, I'm gonna do a foundation really quickly. I don't have any new foundations to talk about. I did order some new stuff, but due to the hurricane, which we'll talk about that, a lot of my stuff has kind of been displaced and rightfully so. There are other things that are far more fucking important than my lost packages. So only a few new things have come in. So um, next time there'll be more stuff, but right now we have like, I wanna say like maybe three or four new things and I can't wait to put it all over my fucking face and tell you all the trials and tribulations that have been Hurricane Ian, which I mean, in hindsight, I, I fucking consider myself incredibly lucky. Well, actually both me and Alex, incredibly lucky considering how some have just fucking got decimated. And I'm gonna start with some thorn milk because this is really good. <laughs> well, the last time we did like a try on or maybe like two try ons ago, I was talking about like the little sample and how it can be used for like skin prep 
or it could be used as a setting spray. I really love it for skin prep, but you can use it for setting spray and it actually holds up, I know. But I think uh, for me, I get a little fearful that it's just going to turn red, even though I know it's not. Uh, <laughs> it's like when I look at it, I go, this is a Carrie Pig's blood moment, but it's not. Anyway, so I just wanna spray a little <sighs> on my face. You know what's so funny there is? a light scent to it. A few people have noticed that there is a scent to the thorn oil. I don't really notice it, but I don't have the best sense of smell. But the skin mist I can smell because I'm literally spraying it into my damn face. But the smell does dissipate after a few seconds, so it smells like something and then it's gone. Whatever the smell is, it's pleasant enough for me to not complain about it. So there you have it. But I am gonna be extra as fuck today and I'm gonna use a little bit of thorn oil because mama loves her thorn oil and I can't get enough of it. Seriously, I can't get enough of it. I think the thorn milk, if you have been interested in it, comes out October 7th, and I believe that's when this video will uh, be live. So if you wanna go pick it up, definitely leave all that information down in the description box. It's fun. But for skincare prep, it just feels refreshing and nice. So something to think about if you're looking for more skincare stuff. The thorn oil in itself you can use for skincare. I love it for primer. I think it's great for a primer. My makeup has always stayed very consistent, very beautiful, long lasting. Then that's why I love using it as a primer. Unless the foundation is fucked up, I never have a problem with any of my complexion products. So, so we're gonna just let that sit in for a minute or so. So this hurricane, huh? <gasps> like I mentioned, I feel incredibly lucky considering how, it c how everything could have went on. If you've been living under a rock, Hurricane Ian came to Southwest Florida and then moseyed on up to Central Florida to make its presence known. And I wanna say thank you so much because a lot of people were checking in on me, being as someone that is very new to the state. I lived here maybe a little bit over eight months now and um, it's been a fast eight months for fucking sure. But you know, this is kind of like my first uh, hurricane down here. Not to say that I'm not familiar with hurricanes. The biggest hurricane I ever had to kind of uh, experience and deal with was Hurricane Sandy back in uh, 2012. And if you were from any of the areas affected in Hurricane Sandy, I think it was like called Superstorm Sandy. Fun name. Uh, it sucked. It really sucked. And I was very fortunate that I myself came out of it unscathed considering where I lived at the time, but the neighboring areas around me got fucked up, like fucked up, didn't have power for weeks, let alone almost, I think like a month uh, for some areas. And it was a wild time. Like it was no gas. It was going into fucking fall, winter. It was cold, it was rainy. It was just, it was just a very weird time. And then of course living through 9-11 and actually being in the city when all that stuff happened, you know, you kind of have an expectation of when things are gonna get really fucked up and shitty and like you kind of go in this fight or flight kind of a mode. The one thing Thing I will say is that in all the stuff that happened in New York, I, I knew a hell of a lot more people, <laughs> you know, like I had a, a lot of family and I had a lot of friends and if, you know, shit got rough, I knew where I could stay and blah, 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 blah. Here it's a little bit different because I don't know a lot of people here, you know, like the only real family I have down here is my best friend who is like, you know, 15 minutes down the road and like we, beyond that, we don't really know that many people. This I felt was, a, you know, definitely a little bit different because because if shit got really rough, you know, I don't really have a lot of people to rely on or to seek a safe haven, so to speak, you know? So all that to say, um, we are incredibly lucky considering how the path of Hurricane Ian, which by the way, I've never met a fucking Ian I've ever liked. <laughs> so that should say something. Um, but you know, all that to say, like we are incredibly lucky considering things could have been real fucking south for us. So I'm, I'm never going to fucking complain or anything like that. So yeah, I make jokes of like, okay, my packages are not coming. In all reality, I fucking, if that's the worst of it, I'll take it, you know what I mean? When Hurricane Ian uh, was about to hit, we made sure to do everything in our power to make sure that we had enough supplies of stuff. We bought a cooler, we bought fucking ice, we had cases of water. Not like, you know, fucking when people had COVID and, and everyone went ape shit and was like, oh my God, I need to buy up every fucking toilet paper possible. No, we, we had what we needed. We didn't overtake or anything like that. We just knew like, all right, if we're gonna lose power for a few days or a week or something like that, we can survive off of this. We watched the news 24 seven at that point. Uh, by the way, I went in with the house labs. I fucking, I, lo I love these two, I, I can't stop. I can't stop, won't stop. You'll have to pry this out of my cold dead hands, okay? 
<laughs> that's how much I fucking love it. All right, just saying. Um, actually, before I go in with concealer, I think I'm going to just go in with a little bit of bronzer first. I'm gonna go in with some cream bronzer because we have we have a lot of cream products today, and we're gonna do that. First. First, but I think what I want to do is actually go in with a product that I used last time that I really enjoyed if I can find it because my life's a mess. Hold on. Actually, I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to go in with a new product. A lot of people said to me, Teresa, you might like the Say Beauty bronzer. I hate everything else. So I'm kind of hoping uh, that this is going to be a fucking banger, but I have no expectation, babe. So uh, let's see if we can fuck this face up together. Anyway, I'm going to add bronzer first and then I'm going to add concealer towards the end anyway. Uh, yeah, towards the end. Whatever, it's a process. Anyway. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, this is, this is, this is, this is. Okay, I like it on this side. I think I just put a little bit too much product over here. So let's try to drag it out. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen. I know I said I, I don't like some of the safe products, but what I do like is their cream blushes. I think they're so pretty, but their foundation and concealer, but it's a no for me, ma'am. But this though, this I could kind of get behind. I could kind of get behind. I like it. I think the color is really, really pretty, especially on someone who looks like fucking uncooked chicken. This looks nice. Okay, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. I know, I know, I know. Shut up, I'll shut up. <laughs> anyway, let me just blend this out. So we were watching the news 24 seven, making sure that we were prepared. But of course, in watching the news 24 seven, it's slightly terrifying because you know, it's a lot of what if models and cones of uncertainty and spaghetti things and things that I've never heard in my life until living down here. I was like, what the fuck is a spaghetti model? Mm. So. Needless to say, I got a nice crash course in fucking like, hurricane terminology. Um, and it's funny because I don't even remember through Hurricane Sandy or Tropical Storm Irene or anything like that fucking spaghetti models. I, I don't remember it. I, or I did, heard it and I just, it never fucking stuck in my brain. But here I was like, well, everyone keeps saying spaghetti. <laughs> anyway, um, it was, it was very scary because, you know, at first it showed it was going to hit Tampa and it was going to fucking decimate Tampa. And they were like really just preparing for the worst because Tampa is a very large port. And you know, once it hits in Tampa, poof, it's gonna be fucked up everywhere else. But then in like the ninth hour, it just like moved a little bit further south and it just completely destroyed all of Southwest Florida. I do have some friends that live in that area and thankfully they're all accounted for and they're safe. Um, I do have a friend that had some, that knew I think of like some family members that lived on like Sanibel Island have not heard and I feel bad because I'm really hoping for uh, kind of the best in that situation. But you know, you kind of can't help but to think that uh, the worst is happening, obviously, right? So as we're watching like on the news, like, okay, it looks like it's gonna kind of cut across the state, you know, on, like south of us. It says, nah, bitch, <laughs> we're gonna fucking come straight for you. And when I saw that it was gonna be like, I think in between like a three and a two headed for central Florida, directly where I lived, I was like, oh, this, this is, this is, this is not what I thought it was going to be. I had so much stuff going on too at that point. Like I'm trying to wrap up projects for my nine to five job. Uh, we're coming out with my palette with Lethal Cosmetics. And it's like, I want to be super excited because I'm like having projects close out that I've been working months on. I'm having the fucking Lethal thing, which is fucking awesome and huge. I'm like, oh my God. And it's like, I couldn't be um, happy or really excited about these things because I kept thinking, oh fuck, it's going to hit us and we're going to be fucking decimated. Like, what are we going to do? So, uh, so during that time, we were just trying to wrap up as many things as humanly possible. So for me, I, of course, not for lack of like waiting for the last minute. It's just, you know, y'all know I have a full-time job, right? YouTube is secondary, right? It's my second full-time job, but it's secondary. And uh, I had to close out so many things at work because there are deadlines that are coming. And if I'm not gonna have any power, I need to make sure that X, Y, Z is done before I can do what I need to do. And then my fucking uh, internet started getting spotty. And I was like, okay, I only had like half of my <laughs> Lethal Cosmetics look video done. Uh, I might as well make a, a fucking hoodie apology video now because I can't do the rest of it. So I was very happy that we were able to get all the projects that we needed to close out. And then we just sat and we waited and we waited and we waited and uh, the lights would flicker every now and again. Um, I think by like around seven or so, my best friend lost power. He lives 15 minutes down the road. So the whole night, me and Alex just kept saying like, I wonder when it's our time. You know, my best friend, Michael, his mom lost power. Everybody south of us within like 10 minutes, right? Was losing power, but we were okay. The only thing is that the internet was kind of like, mm, 
a little spotty, but for the most part, that was like the worst of it. Okay, I have to say, um, I know I talked a lot of shit about Say, I really did, and I'm, I, 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 listen, listen, this might be like one of my favorite cream bronzers, and I've only used it once, but I'm gonna say, I understand the hype, I understand the hype. I look adorable right now, <laughs> as I'm like, talking about some, you know, sad ass shit. I'm adorable. Uh, what I do want to do though, really quickly, is I want to take some of this Milk Makeup Concealer shit, the Future Fluid. I don't like it for my under eyes, but I do like it for kind of carving out pieces of my face. So I just want to put like a little something right there and like just a little something right here just to kind of like brighten it up a little bit because I notice as I'm telling my story, I'm getting red because I'm remembering things. <laughs> <laughs> and let's try to keep the illusion that uh, uh, I don't get red that often. So I'm just gonna go in um, with a little bit of, actually I'm gonna go in with the same brush that I use the foundation with. And I'm just gonna kind of pat it in. Yeah, that looks better. And then when it's right next to that bronzer, I'm just gonna lightly buff it out. So nice, so nice. So the whole night, we watched pretty much Fox News something or other. It kept going to like different affiliates of uh, Central Florida and South Florida news because I don't have cable or anything. I am an internet child, so I have to rely on YouTube <laughs> for a lot of things. And uh, fucking YouTube Premium, let me tell you, it's the best. <laughs> So we just watched kind of like different parts of Florida and them reporting on certain things. And it was so funny though, because um, it's not really fun. I mean, now it's funny, but at the time it was not funny. Uh, there would be kind of moments where there would be newscasters that would be like, we're gonna talk about uh, Polk County. Polk County is where I live. And they're like, all right, we're gonna talk about Polk County. It's gonna get, and the meteorologist would like lock eyes with you. Like it felt like it was, he was looking into your soul and he would say things like, there's multiple tornado warnings. It's gonna get really scary. And then they would cut and then there would be like these two news anchors that were like, oh, okay, thanks, anyway, let's talk to this person. And I was like, no! <laughs> Anytime I was trying to find anything about what was exactly going to happen, it was like, cut to commercial. And I was like, this is gonna be bad. <sighs> anyway, needless to say, around 12.30, Alex was like, let's go to bed because there's nothing else that we can do. And we can just only hope that I'll be fine. Now, throughout the course of the night, when I tell you the winds, bitch, were howling. They were fucking howling. It was, it was fucking terrifying. I have never heard such fucking wild ass wind in my life, okay? It sounded like the walls, the walls shook which was terrifying, but the windows were shaking and you could almost feel a breeze sometimes, which really freaked me out. Cause I was like, oh fuck, like the windows are about to shatter. So we made sure like we had all our curtains really pressed up against the window in case that if they do explode, most of the impact would be from the curtain and not necessarily in our fucking face. So that was fun. <sighs> okay. Um, Hold on, before I continue. We have the new Patrick Ta Holiday Palette. This is the major headliner blush palette. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh, so there's a powder. There is a creamy cream. We love that. And then we have, oh, okay. Okay, 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 bitch. All right, so we have all kinds of different formulas. I think what I wanna do actually is I'm gonna put a little cream blonde, blonzer, fuck me, cream blush, and then <laughs> I'm gonna do a little cream highlighter just like right here, and then we're gonna powder the face, and then I'm gonna put some of the powder products on. Um, I heard some people not liking this palette. I didn't really read into it too much. Someone did mention it's kind of glittery. That's the only thing that I saw. Uh, but So we're gonna hope for the best here. So I'm gonna use this uh, Sonya G Classic Base, and I'm gonna go in with the first shade, which I think is Given Flirty, Given Flirty. I think, I don't know, it's the pink one. Uh, I really like fucking press it in there. I feel like it's very, very light. It's pretty, but it's, right? I guess I'm, I'm used to it being a little bit more pigmented. It's very light on me. Let's see, maybe, maybe it's the brush. No, there it is, okay. The formula is very light. Not a bad thing, but I guess I was just like expecting more of like a, a bubblegum pinky kind of a moment because like I mentioned, I feel like the blushes have always been super pigmented. Hmm, weird, okay, all right. I mean, listen, I like for what it is. I like it because it is a nice little pop of pink, but it's just okay. So I went over a little bit with the same brush that I used the bronzer. Kind of cute, right? It's not It's not terrible. I'm gonna go in with actually the shade next to it. I feel like I just wanna be able to... It's okay. I'll be honest, it's not really like 
wowing me so much. I think that one was a little bit better. I don't know what I'm expecting right now, but it's... <laughs> What I like about his products in particular to the cream ones is that they are very, very pigmented and very, very easy to use, right? These, um, I think what it is is fine. I think I'm just being a little extra right now. <laughs> and I was kind of hoping that, I don't know, it wasn't just like this little, like little light pop of color. My biggest fear right now is if I put powder on my face, you're not gonna see it. That's my biggest fear, I think. I feel like it's just gonna kind of dissipate. So I'm just gonna go in with the highlighter, the glossy thingy. And uh, does this do anything? The fuck does this do? I, I don't think this does anything. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, right? The fuck is that? <laughs> I feel like my base was cute and then I just looks like I have fucking gloss on my face. I'm like, what is this? I feel like it definitely took up the blush, right? I don't know about this. I don't know about this one. I don't, mm. <laughs> Uh, hmm. All right, I'm gonna put a. <laughs> I'm just gonna put in a little bit of concealer. I want to powder the face because I want to see something. But uh, so far, not super impressed. Not super impressed. Anyway, I'm going in with the Charlotte Charlotte Tilbury Radiant Concealer. I like this one. It's very nice. Anyway, what was I saying? So it's 12:30, and Alex was like, "Let's just try to lay down. Let's try to get some rest because we don't know what it's gonna be like when it gets here." And uh, I don't know what happened, when it happened, but somewhere in the middle of the night, I think we finally got maybe like two hours of sleep because I think we were both like nervous that it was gonna hit and that we would just have to be like hiding. And Cause we kept hearing like news things that were like, hide in the middle of your house. Don't be near any windows. I'm like, bitch, there's windows everywhere. Like, where the fuck am I gonna go? So we were trying to like figure out like, okay, well maybe we'll just stay in the hallway on the second floor, you know? <laughs> like, We'll go there. Um, anyway, sometime in the middle of the night, he decided that it was gonna move just south of us. And I had like the hugest sigh of relief. So it went from, I think, almost a five to a four to a three to a two. By the time it was around us, it was like two to one. And then it's it just like kind of broke apart. I remember breathing such a huge sigh of relief. Thank God we fucking messed up. However, just because we weren't like in the path of the eye of the storm still didn't mean we came out completely unscathed right? The wind, when I tell you, it it sounded like it was gonna suck you out of the fucking house. I remember kind of joking about that a few times when we lived in Briarwood because we lived on the sixth floor. Sometimes the wind would get really gnarly up that high. This was like a different kind of wind. Like it was so loud. You thought it was in the room with you. It was just swirling. Like we we uh, went into our garage a couple times just to see what it would look like outside. And even opening the garage door, I was like, oh man, like we just see trees fucking collapsed. And there's a huge light pole outside my house. I was so convinced that shit was gonna fall in the house. Everything was just shaking so violently. But one thing, we never lost our power which was a miracle. The only thing that became kind of spotty for us was internet. The internet was the thing that just was like, nope, not gonna happen today, y'all. And like I said, if that's the worst that's gonna happen, so be it. We noticed though, like as the storm moved past us, kind of leaving the like whipping winds and the incredible amount of fucking rain, like so much rain. <laughs> So much rain, never to the point where I thought I would get flooded, but like where where I live, there's like a little, um, it's like a little ditch or whatever, like a drainage ditch. That shit was full. And I was like, ho, oh, ho, okay. <laughs> I was like, well, you know, we have some time if it does come up this way. <laughs> like hopefully it doesn't come into the house, fuck, fuck, fuck. Thankfully that didn't fucking happen, but we did have a leak in the bedroom because I do see like a water stain and there was a leak from the bathroom exhaust fan. So we had that. And then of course on the side of the house, the, we have siding that got turned up from the strong wind because where our unit is, it's like a separation between the next unit and the wind, it's like a wind tunnel. And that shit just like was ripping up the side of our house. So like I said, fucking incredibly lucky considering some people don't have anything right now. I count my blessings, I really do. Someone was looking out for me that day. I don't know if it was my fucking grandmother or my guardian angel or whoever it was. Just thankful that that was the worst of it. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little powder under my under eye really fast. And then we're gonna do a little powder on the face. And then I'm gonna put a little more of these products on because I'm curious about something. So in terms of like setting powder, I have been really enjoying this stupid fucking hourglass thing. I really like it. This is the butterfly palette. I put it in the tiger tin because butterflies are disgusting. So <laughs> I'm just gonna use some of the finishing powders in this one and just lightly tap my face. I know the Sephora sale is coming. Y'all, if you can, this is definitely 
a must-have. I think this has to be like the best little hourglass palette I have had in a long time. And it also helps that it's like aesthetically fucking pleasing, you know what I mean? <laughs> also, sorry for the little doggy barking. He's very angry today. Not my dog, neighbor's dog, but he ain't happy. I get a sense it. Here's the thing that I don't like about the Patrick Tosh shit. Uh, it doesn't even look like I have anything on my face. So I was like, what's the fuck point was any of that? Uh, say bronzer though, I look fucking tan, bitch. I love that. I'm not liking this fucking Patrick Tosh palette. That sucks, bro. Bro. <laughs> bro, that sucks. I don't like it. I think it sucks. <laughs> The cream anyway. So we're gonna try to go in with the powder and see if that's the thing that fucking, I don't know, man. <laughs> we're just gonna hope for our best here, okay? I'm gonna go in with this MAC Stranger Things brush thingy. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the pink. Okay, yeah, see that there, there, there's something there. I, mean, I look like a fucking haunted doll. <laughs> like a fucking haunted doll, bro. <laughs> okay, that's, that's, that wow okay 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 i do like that i do want to uh, go in with the middle shade just a little bit since we kind of did it with both okay okay i like this i don't think it's necessarily something that you need to fucking pick up though i don't think it's that good i say buy one of the single ones because uh, kind of it buffs it away right huh interesting it's like lightly there i use two different oh, okay i give up i fucking give up <laughs> I give up, okay? I give up. But I do want to go in though, even though I want to put this right all over my fucking face right now. I'm going to go in with the highlighter here, which feels very glittery. Yeah, bro. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. There is definitely some glitter on this one though. I will say, you know, <clears throat> the highlighter in this palette is metallic and blinding and beautiful and it's everything even though my hand is like fucking washed out right now because I'm that much uncooked chicken. Uh, I really love the highlighter in the Hourglass palette and I was kind of hoping that this was going to be like kind of a similar vibe. There is a little something something to it but y'all know me, you know I like to glow for the fucking gogs. I think this is just okay. Yeah. It's okay. I want, I, I need to put a little bit of the Hourglass one on it. See how instantly, like, I'm sorry, hello, who? <laughs> okay, I, I just, I, I feel better if I have that. <laughs> so we're just gonna buff that in. I'm just gonna use that powder brush, no additional product. Yeah, I'm gonna say skip out on the Patrick Top palette. I don't think it's really, I don't know, I feel like it's more trouble than what it's worth. Mama's not happy. All right, so let's move in to Urban Decay. So uh, quick story about this one. Now it's available everywhere, but a wonderful woman named Amy, and if you're not familiar, Amy has a great Poshmark where she creates these really beautiful like luxury beauty mystery boxes. I did open up, I believe two on my channel, and I'm gonna do another one where there's gonna be a giveaway tied to it. So be on the lookout for that one coming up. And she showed me what the giveaway package was, like what the prize was. And I was like, bitch, I'm jealous. I'm jealous, I want it. Like, it was it was good. It's fucking good. Uh, so definitely be on the lookout for that in the coming month, because it's gonna happen this month. But anyway, she messaged me, and she was like, hey, I saw this at my local Macy's. Can you fucking believe it? And I was like, what? 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 Uh, okay. Uh, she's like, I picked up a couple. I'm more than happy to send you one. So I said, thank you so much. So yes, I did pay for this, right? It wasn't sent to me for free. I did give Amy some money for it. And uh, yo, I have not slapped this on my face, but let me tell you something, bitch. This doesn't disappoint and hands down has to be the prettiest packaging besides the cyber palette. So um, I realized I probably should have did an eye look first. <laughs> but we're not doing that today because we are just going to go balls to the wall. I do have a meeting today, but excuse me, ma'am. Who the fuck do you think you are, Urban Decay? Coming up with such beautifulness. Oh, we need to put that all over the face. Okay, okay. That's going to be a lip color. That, that, speechless. The woman was too stunned to speak. <laughs> I need to prime my lids. I need to prime my lids. Let me prime my lids. I'm gonna go in with, I swear this is fucking, this is good. This is really good, y'all. This, this is it. This is it, okay? This is the primer to get, okay? If you're skeptical like me and you're like, ew, primer? Nope, Kaleidos. I don't know if they reformulated or whatever. Or maybe it's because my skin's different now living down in Florida, but I love it. This has been such a great little primer. I'm just gonna prime the eyelids. You know, I want to take a moment and say, like, I am just, uh, I'm so incredibly uh, thankful to each and every one of you, especially to those that 
you know, checked it on me and Alex and made sure that we were okay during this because y'all know that we are New Yorkers. This is our first rodeo down in the South, which is very different fucking weather. Just living here in eight months, I've experienced so many rainbows. I can't even tell you the last time I saw a rainbow in New York. I feel like at least a couple times a month, I see a double rainbow. And I've experienced the most fucked up weather in terms of like lightning storms and thunder to the point where it shakes your bones uh, to like really beautiful days that are 60 degrees. This place is just just so fucking wild when it comes to weather. Um, but I just want to say thank you for reaching out and like asking if we were okay. A lot of y'all did that and I really appreciate it because it just made me feel, I don't know, like even more loved. I was like, well, I don't have a lot of family down here, but like people were asking. And it also really helped us be more at ease while, you know, pff, let me tell you, I had were moments where I thought I was going to lose it. <laughs> But eh, I digress. We're gonna go in with Mango Sun over here. I'm gonna put this uh, a little bit above the crease. It's a nice, oh my God, she is pigmented. Urban Decay, I love Urban Decay mattes. Yes, I said it, my name is Teresa and I love Urban Decay mattes most of the times. <laughs> so yeah, I wanna say thank you for that. A lot of people were checking in. A lot of people were like, fuck your videos. Like, <laughs> just, just take care of yourself. So I really, really appreciated uh, y'all checking in on us. We're okay. We are unscathed. We're fine. Ready to go kind of back to work, back to normal. Uh, the only thing that's kind of been a little bit of a hindrance, like I mentioned before, is that because of everything, like the storm kind of really messed up our mail. So we haven't really got like actual mail. The only thing I've gotten the other day was besides this naked palette, which I was like surprised. I got these lipsticks, which I will show you towards the end of the video. That was the only things that kind of have come through. Oh, besides the Patrick Top palette. Uh, but I ordered, you know, stuff from Pat McGrath and Charlotte Tilbury and blah, 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 blah. Like a lot of things. Um, and they just have not arrived yet. So when they do arrive, of course, I'll make a video on it. But if you've been looking for them, you know, just know that, yeah, I did pick them up. It's just the storm. What am I going to do? You know, it is what it is. I'll get to it when I get to it. <laughs> The other thing I wanted to know is that a lot of people asked me <laughs> like, hey, now that you're kind of experiencing this weather, would you consider moving back north or whatever? Because I know a lot of people were like, okay, we came here, but we're doing the mass exodus or whatever. But um, for me, no, um, just because we had this moment doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen all the time. And at the end of the day, if it's my time, it's my time, right? Like there's nothing I can do about that. And as much as it was incredibly scary at points. It wasn't enough for me to go like, okay, got, gotta go home, gotta go home. The only thing I do wish is that I knew a little bit more people down here. Like I mentioned before, that's probably the biggest difference of like living through natural disasters or just like horrible moments in time is that at least in New York, I, I had more people in my network here, not so much. So I would say that's it. But the few that I do have in my network are like, are good. They're good people. Like if I needed to go somewhere, like I had a couple of different options, but not nearly as much as, you know, as if I lived in New York or whatever. I'm gonna go in with with, oof, Fox Fire, which is this nice little kind of reddish, dusty-ish kind of a moment. So we're just gonna put that in the crease just to give it a little bit more depth. I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it. You know, this is good. <laughs> this is surprising me. I like it. There's a couple of these shimmers though that just look so nice. Also, no fallout like that's pretty fucking impressive have to say so myself so that was my hurricane story thankfully uh it was incredibly uneventful compared to a good chunk of people that live here and i'm thankful for that after the hurricane was in the ocean alex and i decided to take a drive just to kind of see what the devastation was like around where we are and when i tell you fuck so about 10 15 minutes south of us they didn't have power. Like my best friend literally got power five days after it went out. So him and his mom, they had no power, no nothing. All the businesses and stuff that was like south of us, it was just like a fucking ghost town. No lights, no nothing. It was spooky. And there was so much flooding. It was unbelievable. Roads that were like, you know, like normally, like where I am, there are some areas where there's like kind of like dirt roads and shit like that. Uh, flooded, fucking flooded. They look like little fucking lakes. And it was just so wild to think that literally two days ago everything was fine and now everything was underwater north of us there was a lot of trees that went down a lot of billboards that went down just like ripped off signs you name it we're going down 192 and just seeing like the tourist trap that's 192 like half of it looked like it was either no power or just like fucked up like somebody just was like shaking a snow globe and just things were landing where they were it was unbelievable that we were in this little bubble and everything around us got incredibly fucked up like i said i don't know who was looking out for me I don't know, but I'm thankful for it. I am fucking thankful for it. 
the funniest thing though, <laughs> and it's not really that, I mean, it's, it's stupid, but the funniest thing is when we were driving down 192. Actually, wait a second, hold on. There is so many like good shimmers in here. I don't know what I want to put on my face. Oh God, oh God, I don't know. They're so good, the shimmers are so good. Ooh, okay, wait, I just want to use a little bit of this Moonland shade, this white shade. I want to see if I can, ooh, oh wait, is there a shimmer to that one? No, it's no shimmer. We'll lighten it up over here. So like I mentioned, 192 is, is pretty much for tourists and stuff. And the amount of lines that we've seen like outside of a CeCe's Pizza was like criminal. And I felt so bad because nothing was open but CeCe's Pizza. And I was like, oh God, he's poor tourist. <laughs> like, but everything that was open, which was uh, just like a handful of restaurants, like out of curiosity was like, well, let's see like how long the waits are. It was like three hours, three hours. And it was like, oh my God. And you feel bad because like, it's one thing to live here, right? And like, you know, you have access to stuff or, or if you prepared anyway. But if you're on vacation now, you're fucked. There really is no option. So I really felt bad for some of these people because it's like, oh God, you really have to figure out what the fuck is open if there is anything open. And if it is, it's probably a CeCe's pizza and you gotta wait on a long line for just really shit pizza. I feel for you. <laughs> like, just fucking terrible. Especially when you spend all this money to come down here and it's like, <sighs> this sucks. Um, so yeah, it was wild to, to see that. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going, to, I need to put on Space Fog. No, Space Pod. <laughs> I need to put Space Pod. It's, some of these colors kind of look a little bit similar. You know, like when swatching them out, they're kind of like small gradients of each other. There is some similarities, but you know what though? Here's the thing. I'm not going to fault them too much because when it comes to shimmers, Urban Decay is not the best. So I have high hopes for this one because I kind of feel like it's going to be good. It felt really, really pigmented. Usually it's not that pigmented. So anyway, what I'm going to do is just put it all over the lid. We're going to keep it very simple today. Go in with my trusty rougher number 28 with a little bit of uh, NYX glitter glue and we're just going to paint the lid. I also have a few meetings I have to kind of take care of today, so I can't go like too wild. But are you kidding me right now? I'm sorry. Urban Decay. Urban Decay, where the fuck has this formula? <laughs> oh my God. What? Girl. Now listen, I, I hear you. I hear you and you're like, that's well, it's no fucking indie brand. Indie brands, they have to try hard, these bigger brands, because people are going to buy these over indie brands, unfortunately. It sucks, it is what it is, but you're gonna buy something that has a much more popular name, despite even though indie brands are just killing it with formula. So I am incredibly impressed with Urban Decay in this one. Granted, of course, you know, Indie brands can run fucking laps and circles and all that good shit. But like I mentioned, people really like to stick with what they know and they don't like to venture off and try new fucking things, which is a shame. <laughs> Because if they did, they could see that fucking indie brands are where you want to be when it comes to shimmers and just fun colors. But Miss Urban Decay, Miss Little Motherfucking Urban Decay, bitch, like, you did good. You did real good. I'm very, 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 very fucking impressed. I can't even believe how metallic and fun these are. Like, this is nice. Like, I love this. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, I said it. I love it. And the fallout is almost pretty much non-existent. I'm fucking speechless too. I don't understand. It's so good though. Something about orange and blue just, ah, uh, it goes together so well. The other thing too is that we use a little bit of the Kaleidos Multichrome Eyeliner. I don't remember the name of this one. Oh, I think it's Sea Sparkle. <laughs> the blue one pairs perfectly with the eye look, which, ugh, I absolutely love these Multichrome liners. I use them all the time. I cannot stop using them, they're so good. Uh, okay, so I'm just gonna do quick mascara, which update on this one, Tower 28, fantastic, it's $20, fucking great. I think this is gonna be the one that I just consistently buy. I love the Lancome, I love Chantecai, but this is $20 and it's fucking amazing. <laughs> so highly, 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 highly recommend checking it out, especially if you have sensitive eyes and you want lengthening and volume, this is your bitch and it's $20 fucking dollars. I just need them to come out with more colors and then I'm all set. I mean, I look pretty fucking cute, just saying. Um, <laughs> okay, so there's this brand. I don't even understand, but I love every second of it. They're called Gorju, Gorju? 
and I'm pretty sure I'm butchering the fucking name of it. Um, these lipsticks are so cute. It's not even funny. They're so adorable. Oh my God, this is a little bowl of ramen. <gasps> Send nudes. Okay, so I'm not sure if you could see this. Oh, but there's like a little ramen bowl at the bottom of the packaging. This is what the color looks like. It's a basic nudie bitch that is, oh, yeah, this is perfect. I'm doing this one. Uh, but I have a whole little set of them. So of course we have a little ramen bowl. We have, we have chicken. We have fried chicken. I only tried them the other day. They're incredibly creamy. They had really nice longevity. It didn't feel like it was kind of cracking or settling or fading into my lips. Like it looked good. I picked up quite a few of these little bastards. I have an egg roll. I have shrimp fried rice. <laughs> they are hands down everything. Oh my God, I got a piece of sushi. Okay. Ooh, sushi's a good color too. Oh, ooh, sushi could be good too. All right. You know what? Let's try sushi actually. Hold on. You know, it's not bad. It's a little too peachy for me for right now. So I'm gonna go in with send nudes. They like this, but I, I want a little bit more of a brown tone to it. I love this. I fucking love this. I mean, I love this. <laughs> I am a sucker for like just a nude basic bitch lip. I really am. So last thing I'm gonna do is just spray my face again with some thorn milk. <sighs> Lock that motherfucker in. And this is the finished look. Looks so cute today. Thank God we upped the highlighter. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do a quick rundown of everything that we used today. I do want to make an updated video because I know I said it I was going to do it in September. <laughs> like a lot of things are happening. So I'm going to do double the products. So I'm going to be trying a lot of new stuff to this month. So at the end of this month, you'll see like a whole roundup, but Thorn Milk, fucking awesome. I love it as skincare. I think it's perfect for skincare, but it can double as a setting spray. And as you can see, even though it looks gnarly like blood and milk, it doesn't disrupt the base. It keeps you hydrated and just feeling very, very refreshed. I love it. If you're ever interested in wanting to pick up anything from Ritual Defeat, I do have an affiliate code with them. Teresa's dead. I was about to say thorn milk. Teresa is dead. You can save 10% off your order. And you know what? If you are a fan of thorn oil, if you are my ride or die bitch when it comes to thorn oil, you will fucking love this. But just know that yes, there is a little bit of scent when it does come out, but I don't have the best nose. It doesn't smell unpleasant in my opinion. And it dissipates uh, very quickly once you have it on the skin. Love, 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 love that. In regards to new products, because we're not going to talk about house labs because we all know that I love house labs and the Charlotte Tilbury concealer. Let's talk about the Patrick Ta palette. I am disappointed. I thought this was going to be as good as it was last year. It's not. I didn't really feel like the cream products were all that great. I think they're just okay. What saved it for this palette was the powder formula. I feel like I could see a little bit of something something. I didn't feel like I could see anything with the cream. It was weird. Yeah, disappointing. The highlighter gloss thing, what the fuck is that? I who is uh, what is that? That's bullshit. I even think people who don't even like highlighter would be annoyed with it. I felt like it just kind of just created created this really weird kind of glossy sheen over everything. So I felt like I lost any kind of blush I had. It just ate it up. This was like a black hole product. Like I just literally eating up the galaxies. What are you doing? I don't like it. Powder wise, blush is fine. Powder highlight, eh, it was just okay. It was very sparkly, um, really sparkly more than I thought it was gonna be. I think it does provide a little something something, but I had to go in with that hourglass palette to kind of give me that extra bit of oomph that I like because y'all know that I'm an alien slut and I wanna be seen from outer space. So I want to be fucking noticed. And now I feel like I'm fucking noticed. I didn't feel like I was noticed before. Actually going back into time and talking about the bronzer first, because that's what I first had on my face. I know I say a lot of shit about Say, and um, I definitely want to make a video because there are just some things that I really just don't like about the brand. When you're wrong, you're wrong, okay? And I am the first to admit when I'm wrong. And uh, yeah, maybe not all their products are shit, okay? This was fantastic. I love how easy it was to use. I love the color match. I just think it's fucking pretty. It's pretty and it's everything that I just want it to be. I can't even believe I'm saying that right now. There's a reason why this is always sold out and rightfully so. It's a good fucking product. Wait for the Sephora sale, obviously, because you know, you want to save some coin and shit, but like, I get it. I get the hype. Okay. I get the hype. I'll get the hype. I get, I get you. I don't like your other fucking friends though, but I like you though. I like you and I like the blush. Moving on to the eyeshadow palette. This exceeded my expectations. It's pretty. Is this the most amazing look you'll ever see? No, but for Urban K, 
it's fucking fun. Usually Urban Decay is like the same kind of boring basic ass bullshit. This is very, very pretty. This is very cool. I love how I look. I look like a little galaxy. I think it's so cute. The color combination, how easy they were to use. There was minimal fallout. I did notice when I was doing the second eye, I got a little bit more fallout than I did in the first eye, especially when it came to the shimmer. But that was a me problem because I was rushing. Because <laughs> I'm like, I gotta get to work now. So that's the only kind of issue, but that was a me issue, not necessarily a product thing. But I love this. I think this is fucking great. Great. This is everything that I want it to be. I can't believe I'm saying it, but uh, this and this packaging, it's like, this is, I feel like the first Urban Decay product in a long time where I'm like, I love the outside as much as I love the inside. Of course, I'll leave a much more like updated note about this in the future, but my first initial impressions, bitch, where have you fucking been? Okay, where have you been? I love you, fucking love you. Okay, uh, and I think the last thing we'll talk about is the Gorgeous lipsticks. They're fucking cute, they're fun, they're weird, they're everything that I want. <laughs> a lipstick with food okay like I am a child I feel like I have like you know a 14 year old girl living inside of me that just loves adorable little things and the cuter the packaging the more that you're gonna get my attention and these just don't disappoint I love the space aginess of it they're very simple but I just love they have like these teeny tiny little pieces of food at the bottom of them do they add anything no they don't add anything except for being the cutest fucking thing you're ever gonna have in your purse okay <laughs> I love it. They're comfortable, they're creamy. Y'all know I have a dry goddamn mouth, <laughs> okay? So I always look for things that are hydrating and comfortable, and these are hydrating and comfortable. And I just, I'm in love with it. I'm in love with it. I actually have quite a few shades. I'll do another updated video about them, but I wanted to be kind of like a basic ass bitch today, and I don't fucking disappoint. Boop. I love it. I'm, I'm happy. I like everything. Today, everything is great. We're having a good day. Uh, <laughs> so with that said, I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you have any of these products, if you were going to pick them up, or if there's anything that you would like to see me talk about or review, let me know because I love hearing from you. And again, thank you so much to Upside for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button. It's free and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, and YouTube subscriber members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really nasty, really gross. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. I just want to gobble you all up so you can live inside my belly and we can be one. And it could be such a good time. If you want to know everything that I put on my face, the things that I talked about and the things that I sped through, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little cranberries later. Bye.